Hey guys, Kev here, and the day has come for another sale video. It's a sad day, but uh, as you guys may know, if you watch my rant recently or my ramble recently about can you still trust me, I am not made of money, and I have a conscience, and I worry about my bank account getting low and my credit card getting high. <laughs> uh things like that give me anxiety so hey every once in a while i gotta sell some shit because i always got more coming in hope you guys got in on the dawn drop i was able to pull that off so i'm excited about that but um this is a list of what is going to be for sale so if you want to pause and read this instead of watching you can do that but if you watch the video you will see the condition of the product you will know information Okay, so you don't have to ask me or anything, which you can. Feel free to email, DM me, leftyedc88 at gmail.com or at leftyedc on Instagram. If you talk to me in a different format, feel free to hit me up there. Uh, I will take payment via PayPal, friends and family, Venmo, friends and family, and Zelle. Um, I prefer not to do GNS, uh, mainly because there's fees and taxes. Uh, I really don't feel like getting hit with taxes. I hope you guys can trust me. Um, one thing I want to note, and I'm going to write this down down here. Uh, I am going to add 10 bucks to the price for shipping insured, okay? So I hope this makes sense to everybody. Um, the package will be shipped and fully insured for that 10 bucks, okay? Um if you just want me to ship it, I will just ship it, and that cost is in here. So don't worry about that. But if you want to make sure that it's fully insured, because I've had this come up recently, and it's a little bit more of a thing now for me, um, you can add 10 bucks. I hope that's fair. Um, if you really want to fight me on it, maybe we can do five. We can do first class and then insured for five bucks. You know what I mean? Whatever. We'll figure it out. But... I just want to mention that you can add for insurance. I just, a lot of times I do it, but I end up paying a lot extra just doing that myself, right? Where I think that should be kind of part of the price, if if that makes sense. Kind of a fair fair trade, right? Uh, one thing I want to note is the Kvist variant custom was on this list, uh, but... Uh, my buddy Evan decided he wanted to pick this up off me, so he is buying this, um, so it's no longer on the list. Shout out to Ev. Uh, I'm glad it's going to uh, a very good home. I know Ev. He's a great dude. I, I felt so bad about this one. I even talked to Jacob over at Chris Blade Works about it. Um, I still am not sure I'm doing the right thing here, um, but I just can't keep everything and i gotta sell the stuff i don't carry a lot and this was one of the things i don't carry a lot i don't know why it's not the knife i love the knife um but if i carry a slip knife it's usually a slip joint because it, you know the slip makes it where you're not going to take it in and out a lot and then you know it doesn't have a clip he's working on clips though so i don't know anyway it's a it's a a mental struggle for me but that one's gone <laughs> Um, all right, so we're going to go down the list. If you guys have any questions, again, hit me up at these places. Do not send me money unless we, you know, determine you're going to send me money. And please, for the love of Pete, answer your emails. Uh, answer your Instagram. I have people who want the item, and they're like, yeah, I want it. And then I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, here, you can send me the money here or just confirm this or whatever. And then I never hear back or it's like, it's, it's honestly frustrating and annoying <laughs> because you wanted the item, right? And I'm pretty quick to reply. I'm going to post this video probably in the morning tomorrow. And that way I'll be awake and available. Um, so I can get back to you within, you know, minutes most of the time. So, um, just respond, please. I would really appreciate it. If you send me an email, just follow up, you know? All right. Uh, the first knife is the Grant gripper uh man i really love this knife and this is one of those situations where it is not the knife guys it, it, it's me it's it's a little too large for my taste it's a little too tactical for my taste and i really 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 tried to fight that um 
as long as I could by, you know, telling myself I love this knife, I love the action, I, I love, man, I do, I love so much about this knife. Um, but it, I don't know, it's just a little too big and a little too tactical for me, so it's got to go. And I also, again, I'm just not made of money. If I was Moneybags McGee, I would keep this knife because I really do like it a lot. I really, really do. And hey, if it doesn't sell, I won't be sad, but um, god damn it. And this is the one with black frame and satin blade. So this is not one you can just buy. Uh, they come in either all black out or all uh, grayed out. Uh, Jason was very kind enough to put this one together for me. This is number 22. Man, I feel it's another one. I feel terrible that Kvist was number 22 as well. Um, but I gotta do what I gotta do, guys. I, I went through my first row in my case and I just can't sell any of those. I, I, I'm like fighting myself to sell one of those knives and I can't. So I have to sell other stuff. So anyway, um, this is the Grant Gripper in the black handle with the satin blade and it's got the gray bead blasted backspacer. Um, trying to think if there's anything I should note. I think when I, yeah, when I first got it, I took it apart and the stop pin shifted slightly in there. I got everything back together straight. I have had zero issue. I've had this knife for a few weeks or a month, and it has been absolute perfection. So I don't foresee any issues, but you can watch my disassembly if you have questions on that. This is riding on skiff bearings, and holy shit, it's really good. It's dead centered, and there's no play in any which way, and um, you just give it that slight little shake at the end. And she goes home. So this thing is fantastic. These are going for $330 new. This GGB or uh, Gay Gripper Bro version, I'm going to sell for $315. All of these things have original packaging unless noted. Uh, this just comes in a microfiber pouch. That's just how it comes. So I'll send it in that with whatever I have, okay? So there you go, $315 for that guy. Uh, next up, we have the Quiet Carry Waypoint. Uh, this is another one that hurts a little bit because I truly do love this knife, but I have the drift and that's the one I use for yard work and such. So this one never sees my pocket and I literally just keep it because I, I really like the model and that's okay. Um, perfectly fine to keep a knife for that reason, but, um, I need to recoup funds and, uh, this knife isn't cheap. So it kind of makes sense. This does have my buddy Joe's KME edge on it, which is gorgeous. So if anything, it's an upgrade. Um, it has been used a couple times. I mean, it's basically brand new. Um, if you need me to reverse the clip, I can do that. Um, these go for, I think 295 new, and I don't know if they're in stock right now, but this is the, I believe, bead blast or uh stone washed handle with a satin blade absolutely my favorite setup uh, i will sell this one for 275 it is centered and all the good things so 275 for the waypoint um skip over the quist next up we have the berg blades slim so this is the berg blade slim this one has the purple haze fat carbon and then a black wash blade. They call it DLC, but I don't know. I think it's a, bl a black wash. It looks like it's been tumbled after, but whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's got the cool pivot collar. Um, the action on this one is good. Uh, when I unboxed it, I absolutely hated the detent. I thought it was too light. Um, you know, I can kind of uh, pop it out to fail it like that. But if you flick it the way you're supposed to, like at the top of the hole... It, it does fly out. So I think the detent is the way it's supposed to be. Um, so I think it's just a me thing with the detent. You can walk it out really nice. Uh, Left-handed works fantastically. Ergos are really good on this. I actually do like this knife. It has grown on me quite a bit since the um, unboxing. So again, I don't know. I wouldn't be heartbroken if it stuck around, but I do want to get it moved. Um, these are not available anymore. These are exclusive. Uh, you can see in there, this is number eight of 40. Um, I think this was 375 or 365 new. It is basically brand new. Um, I got it just yesterday. Um, so I am going to be selling this one for $350. The Berg Blade Slim with the Purple Haze Fat Carbon. And I have some matching fidgets for this. You can see later if you're interested. I'll give you the rundown on that and the last one we have is the protec runt 5 in the bronze aluminum from 
pro deck. Um, so this has that bronze aluminum feel to it. It's another one I recently just got um, from Urban EDC Supply. It has a fresh edge on it. It's, I mean, I think I put it in pocket one time. It's not a knife I reviewed or anything. It was just sent to me for a um, brass edition kind of uh, sale they were doing. Has the mosaic pin button. I have no idea what these went for retail. Um, so I'm just going to call it 200 bucks. I think that's fair. If somebody wants to correct me on that, they can. It's centered. I loctited it in the centered position. There is no play and it rockets out. So cool knife it's just a little heavy with that bronze for me so i just i don't know i just i'm not gonna carry it you know what i mean and i have some other items they sent me i'm gonna give away probably so um this one i'm gonna sell and uh get some channel funds with that bad boy so 200 dollars for the protect runt five all right so that's it for the knives so if you're here for the knives that's it guys sorry that's all i got i didn't go to blade show and buy a ton of stuff i just I got what I got. Um, fidgets. So this is where these come in. I have these Purple Haze Fat Carbon. Um, so yeah, I'm actually selling a lot of Fat Carbon today. And it's all Purple Haze. <laughs> which is just weird. Um, and I love the Purple Haze. But um, so anyway, I posted these up on Facebook as a set. So if anybody's interested, I have this set up. For nine hundred dollars, okay. So this was three fifty by itself. I have this one at two seventy five. This is the Gamer Cross. Um, so it has the D pad, and you can use it as a haptic coin, of course, right? Uh, which is cool. So this one two seventy five by itself. This one uh, three hundred and fifty by itself just so you guys know these are very limited i think they maybe made 50 of each of these or maybe it was 50 total sets i can't remember um so they're kind of hard to get uh, but this one is the gamer pad so it's a little more expensive because it has more parts and stuff like that in it i paid more than that for both of these so just so you know um i know it seems like a lot for fidgets but it, it's accurate um, so 350 for this, 275 for that, and I was gonna call it 600 for the pair. So that saves you a little bit of money, actually a good bit of money, right? Um, shit, am I way off? That'd be 500 plus. No, okay, yeah, it saves you like 25 bucks. Okay, so uh, 600 for the pair or 275, 350 separately. 350 for this guy or combined for 900 now if one of these sells then that takes it you know then it's gone um then you gotta either get this set or you know what i'm saying but anyway 900 for the whole set if you want it uh or 275 or 350 all right i got two more and then we're done here guys i have the fidget things chill pill so um this one's cool uh this one was actually sent to me uh, this half was sent to me by Derek from uh, Fidget Things. I don't know if you see it. It says 39. Uh, and he actually milled in slots to put the O-rings on. So they're not just like slapped on top. This is zirconium. And then this is from the first item I purchased from him, which was the Honeycomb Titanium Chill Pill. Um, so he sent me, actually it was a gift. He sent me this one and then a zirconium honeycomb. And um, I really appreciate him sending it, but I much prefer the Zerk Honeycomb, and I have a Zerkutai other half. And I don't love the O-ring. It just adds a little bit of thickness. I think some people will like that. Um, I just personally prefer my other setup with the Zerk and the Zerkutai. So uh, I just don't need all the sets. And again, trying to recoup money. So I have this. These are fairly unique, getting the honeycomb and getting the uh, O-ring one and Zerk. Um, so I was going to sell this for 120 as a set, and it'll come in a uh, chill pill thing that he sends them in. And yeah, so that is the chill pill from Fidget Things. Absolutely love the chill pill, guys. Um, I just have another one. So I actually have two other ones, but you know. Then we have the piston. 
So this was sent to me through a pass around group and um, some of the items in there we just end up selling or trading or whatever as we go around and then we can buy more stuff to send around or whatever. Um, but this is the piston. Uh, I don't know who makes it. I think it's called like Little Boy or something. Um, and these are like $274 or something new. And essentially this is, I mean, it, it's a, not new because it's not fresh out of the package, but it's essentially, um, you know, lightly molested, we'll call it. Uh, but anyway, it has a spinner up here, right? And then it has this guy right here you can go up and down with. And then that turns into a spinner. And then this actually rotates here, kind of like a haptic coin. I find it really hard to do one-handed though. Then you have this piece, which is actually a top, if you know what you're doing. Anyway, I was able to do it before, but uh, that's, a, oh, is that why? Maybe I have the wrong piece in, I don't know. Um, but anyway, there's this extra guy right here that you can actually take out, and then that's a tool. So that's a tool to disassemble this guy right here. Um, and then there's more stuff down here. Uh, O-rings and all types of stuff, guys. This thing is uh, uh, a pretty big beast. Um, it's got all types of things involved in it. So uh, let's see if I can get that in there. I swear it's a top. There we go. Sorry, I knew there was something up there. All right, so that is the Piston V2. And these go, like I said, 274 or something like that. So I'm going to list it at 150 Comes in the box. Um, it is, somebody taped the shit out of the box. That's why it looks like that. It's not like damage, just tape gunk. Um, but yeah, so that'll be $150, okay? So let's run down this one more time and then I'll let you guys go. Um, hit me up, leftyedc88 at gmail.com or at leftyedc on Instagram. I can take payment, PayPal, Venmo, or Zelle. Friends and family, uh, much appreciated on that. Knives, I got the Grant Gripper for $315. That is the black with satin. Um, and then we have the Quiet Carry Waypoint with the stonewashed and uh, satin blade for $275. And man, these bearings or washers are just buttery smooth. I love that thing. We have the Berg Blade Slim in Purple Haze, Fat Carbon, and Black Wash slash DLC for $350. 50 brand new essentially we have the protec runt 5 in the bronze aluminum with the mosaic looking pin button thing for 200 and then we have the ac edc gamers we have the cross coin slash clicker for 275 we have the pad for 350 or the set for 600 or that set plus this for 900 then we have the fidget things chill pill with the thai honeycomb and the zerk o-ring for 120 and last but not least we have this piston v2 for 150 you can add 10 bucks to get fully insured shipping remind me at the time and i'll i'll try to remember to do priority i usually do first class and then insure it and I'll be honest, things get there just as quick through first class, but if you want priority, just say it, you know what I mean? And then we'll add the 10 bucks or whatever. So, all right, that's it, guys. Uh, I want to say thank you. I really appreciate all you guys who buy stuff from me on these sales. Um, it really keeps the channel going. Um, like I said, I just am not made of money. I know I buy bougie stuff and I buy stuff, but I do have money. I just don't have endless funds. And uh, the things I like, I you know, that I truly, truly love, like I keep. Um, but it's a very, very, very small list. Like I can point over at my case that I'm looking at right now. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So let's call it twenty tops 20 knives tops that are just permanent collection pieces right and that's not it's probably closer to 15 um if you go to 20 you're counting some of the gifts and stuff i wouldn't give up and then if you look at fidgets it's going to be a very similar number right 
Um, I have all the donuts and coins I really like. Um, these are not mine, they're loaners. Um, I have the soap in this thing. And then I have a couple of miscellaneous ones there. And then I have all my compa form pieces. Um, in this pouch, I have my compa form pieces, um, the dial, the, the Magnus, um, the chill pill I was telling you about. So I just like this setup a little bit better. Um, and then I have the CP3s that I absolutely adore. So, you know, I, I just tend to dial it in to 15 or 20 things per hobby, apparently. <laughs> And, you know, it's kind of changed. I used to have 40 plus knives that I loved. And I think maybe the fidgets, because they, dude, they cost a lot of money. They can cost as much as a good knife. Um, you know, it's kind of shifted to where I've lowered the amount of knives and I've added the fidgets. And it's just how it goes. Uh, by the way, this thing is fantastic. These are absolutely, all the ones I'm selling, I didn't love that piston thing. But these, fantastic. I just prefer some my donut over this. Um, and then I prefer the Compaform stuff over this, personally. Um, and I have this already. Um, so it's just kind of, you know. But I do like all this stuff. Just can't keep it all, guys. I wish I could. I really do. And you can tell I'm struggling with it because I'm sitting here explaining myself. So I love you guys. Uh, you can take one last look at this. And um, I will have it in the description. And as things sell, I will cross them out or put sold next to it, right? So if you go into the description and it says sold next to the one you're looking at, it's sold. And I'm sorry. Um, but it does make it easier if you check the description and then reach out. And I know a lot of times you guys reach out when you see the video and you see the item and then you check. I get it. But I always feel bad because I'm like, it says it, you know. But I, now I have to give you the bad news. <laughs> so... Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys get something good, something you want. These are all good items. I wouldn't sell anything that's not. So thank you all. Love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.